Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and non-binaries all over the world. Hello, I am Lord Teammaker on behalf of the Game One Play Itself podcast and content creators. And it is a Wednesday; it's not quite two o'clock, but I was going to play this Tuesday night, um, but I wasn't feeling particularly well. Now I'm not a hundred percent yet. Um, still feeling a little bit bunged up. But not as bad or as sneezy as I was yesterday, so. Great success. Thank you for the host, Michael. Good afternoon. Uh, I say, I'm feeling a bit better than what I was. Mum's coughing less, but Mum went, oh, I want something different. I can't eat. I can't taste it. It's like, oh, no, don't, don't try that. But afternoon, Wild Rose. Afternoon. We are about to start the age of brokenness. Broken age, yes. Never played this before, seen it. <laughs> A day off work, woo! So let us start. A new game. And I hope you're all well. I hope you have a good weekend. So we get to start with a choice, do we? Hey, that's my boy. Oh, here comes your mother. There's my little angel. Right, let's actually put subtitles on. Not that, there we go. Computer, snooze. No more snoozies for my little spaceman this morning. Hope no bad tinkle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. <laughs> mm. Computer, off. Come on and get up, Shay. Lots of important adventures to go on today. Get up now, Mr. Man, or I'll turn on the meme sound. Okay, you asked for it. <laughs> Punch that sun in the face. Hi, Egg. difference does it make? Yikes. No way. Cinnamons. China moons. Hmm. <sighs> Why not? Who doesn't like to taste the moon? Good morning, Commander Shea. It is my honor to be your training spoon today. Can't wait to start mission nutrition. So just pick me up and we'll start filling you up with space fuel. Is something Yes! <laughs> you won't be sorry, Commander. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. Yeah, the animation is quite nice on it, isn't it? Breach. I should really use this on food, not myself. As you command, sir. But I'm up for anything. Right, so I have to use that. I have to use that. It's happening. It's really happening. Now, sir, I don't just serve food. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you? Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh Commander, 
on to a second to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No. Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? <laughs> okay, computer. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me Mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, computer. Okay, Captain, sweetie. Let's get on to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galactica. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, sweet uh, Captain? <laughs> um, I think, I think, ladies and gentlemen, I think. Afternoon, Raz, how you doing? Then we'd better suit up and investigate that fallen body. Better suit up and investigate that poor <laughs> body. Oh, I don't like you going out there. Let's use the safety suit. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> you investigate a foreign body and say, oh yes, for international relations. Okay, I'm outside the ship. The foreign body must be very close by. Something organic in nature. <laughs> Something's telling me I should stick my face right into it. Ah! Get off of me! Get off! <laughs> Got a special nutrition paste for you today. Grilled cheese. <laughs> for your next exciting space mission, honey? We've got an avalanche, a runaway train, a spaceship under attack, and a mysterious object on the hull. <laughs> uh, shall we catch the runaway train? Let's catch that runaway train. Feeling like train. a bag of dicks have caught a bug of the brake. <laughs> system 7. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hopefully over the worst of a cold that I have. Which is why I didn't start streaming this last night. One second. Part of me not didn't want to. <laughs> Someone's grown up on their ship and is very, very bored, isn't they? Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, fake train wreck, please. Uh, we need to help those avalanche victims. I knew you were going to help them, sweetie. Fly a course for Planet Galactica. This is the massive avalanche? It's worse than it looks! Really? How? <laughs> <laughs> Can we walk over here instead? <laughs> oh, it wants me to help him. <sighs> Don't worry, I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay. <sighs> here, take this spoon and dig yourselves out. We don't know how to use it. <laughs> it's how about I give you this spoon and you can eat my ass. Don't worry, I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. Take like a train and choo choo choo. He's going to feel so sick in about five seconds. <laughs> Time for more adventures in Sleepy Land. Hey, any day without a real emergency is a good day, so. Rise and shine. I've got a feeling this is going to be a great day. Chocolate rockets? <laughs> it could be worse. It could be a bag of dicks. <laughs> yeah, sure. go on. What difference does it make? <laughs> oh, they look exactly the same. Your saliva has a 0 0.001 pH imbalance today. May I suggest more whole grain nutrient paste? No, <laughs> you can, you can advise it, but I can tell you where to shove it. Uh. We have to defend the friendship circle. Oh, I just don't know who would attack those poor defenseless cuties. To the teleporter room. <laughs> I'm aboard the distressed vessel. We always comment around here, you know that. I found one of the crew. <sighs> oh, look at the unhappy face. What happened here? I do see what you mean, though, Raz. <laughs> From an enemy vessel? Or an alien creature? <laughs> or did you attack yourselves in a fit of space madness? It was yes. Nutrition paste for you today. Mac and cheese. <sighs> what mission should we go on next, sweetie? Oh, I gotta get out of this routine. Uh fattening avalanche, I guess. Well good. You're so skinny. <laughs> Flying the course for Planet Galactica. So now we gotta find our way out of this uh of this loop. You're not gonna believe it, but there was another ice cream avalanche. Yay! <laughs> Weird. Come on. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh look, it's another grab and carry robot. Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean my collection. <laughs> it's a DLC for Deathloop. <laughs> Discovered 
a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore that, Shay. Discovered a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore that, Shay. I will not ignore it. Come on, grabbing Gary. Be more fun. You can do it. Can't you do anything except grab stuff? <sighs> wait, so you can't grab... So, wait. <clears throat> Hang on. So grabbing Gary can only grab stuff. But I don't see any other stuff around him here. Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay. You poor bastards. <laughs> Make like a train and choo choo choo. Yay! So it's not it's not in here then that we can use the thingy. So where can we use grabby roboty thingy? You're going to love this dinner pill. Either spaghetti or aspirin. <laughs> now in the mood for something sweet. Here we go again. Right, um... Back to the Cuddle Dungeon. Why not? I mean, Cuddle Dungeon sounds almost kind of nice. <laughs> Gross. To be fair, you know. <laughs> Nope, you can continue to moan, you. Fake controls. What a surprise. More fake controls. Come on, grabbing Gary. Be more fun. You can do it. Can't you do anything except grab stuff? <sighs> so, grabbing Gary cannot work in here. controls what a surprise so there's nothing in here apart hey, from a cuddle dungeon yeah let's get this over with <laughs> no i just you know live save today now, ladies and gentlemen, if I do get stuck yeah. in this, uh, we are. That looks like a good idea. Well, I am open to some, uh, you know, <laughs> to some little bit of help, the guesswork and stuff. So. Hey, who wants breakfast? Chocolate rocket. Uh, yikes! No way. Yikes! No way. Simmons. I think I'd rather eat a bug. Honey holograms. <laughs> Sounds good, computer. <laughs> you watch are gonna be the same. Oh, how how surprising. How how surprising they all look the same. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? I'd rather jump off a cliff than do this again. Fake train wreck, please. I knew you'd choo choo choose that one to System 7. <laughs> We're gonna crash into Spike Canyon! <laughs> you know what I'm not doing? <laughs> What's that, son? Did you say wake up the bridge man? That's such a good idea. You can let go now. I got this. You can let go now. I got this. Man, he is just dying to grab something. Hey, I got a grabbing Gary. If you guys need help grabbing that. We'll just let go then. <laughs> oh, we're 
stuck in the snow. Better eat the other passengers. It's a little early for that. Why not yell at the bridge man first? Oh, because you're a boss and want me to do this. Wake up, bridge man! <laughs> Having fun? <laughs> oh yes. Huh? Who are you? When you tire of child's play, when you're ready for real danger, come see me. But tell no one. Do you understand? Okay. But yes. No one. Hey. Yes, wait. perhaps you're right. What? Now what's that key for? Oh, trophy! <laughs> Whoops. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. No, it can't. All missions are cancelled. I love you. <sighs> I can do whatever. Right, let's see what this key was first of all. It looks like a weird little screwdriver. It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Ooh. Yeah, she says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. Either way, it's dead now. I took away its food source. <laughs> nice. Hmm. The air vent is screwed shut with these weird little screws. It works. Hmm. But what's in here? What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? Right, how do we then? Right, do we combine? It's a tank of compressed air. It looks like an inflatable raft. I don't think that will help inflate it. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa, it looks like a <laughs> blow up <laughs> of me. Creepy. <laughs> Has anybody seen the film airplane? On a mission. <sighs> Hopefully, this looks enough like me to fool the warden. Do you remember the autopilot? <laughs> Whoa. How have I never 
seen this part of the ship before. You came because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who? Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny and may soon be executed. But... Yes? We... We have to save them. Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear so we can stay in contact. Good. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. <laughs> Fair enough. So far, so straightforward. Ah, the young master has come to play with the space wheeler. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Oh man, a real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. If I give the Space Weaver a star chart, he'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf. Yeah, right, then we'll go, we'll go, excuse me thing. This is the star chart for Talon Nebula. This is the star chart for Talon Nebula. This is the star chart for Talon Nebula. Hey, Space Weaver, let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires, as long as it is safe and free of conflict. Aww. Bring me a star chart, and the fabric of time and space shall be knit to serve your purpose. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? We shall be there in no time. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> we should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cub. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. <gasps> this is worse than I thought. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. What can I do? Here, take these controls. You need to lower the shield so the boom arms can be extended. Go on, lower the shield. Good. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned above the subject. Then press this to engage. I got it! Great work, Shay. Now the boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine for their own protection. 
and ours. You mean that? Yeah, that sounds good. Might kill them? You are wise for such a young cub. Now we must save more quickly before their captors return. Use the movement controls to position the ship. Careful. Wait for it. Yes. Great. Now just place it in the cargo hold and Oh no. What is it? Hostile forces have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. No. You didn't tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. You want to be a grown-up? Get used to making tough decisions. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from Danger System 5. Are you up to it? Shay, are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? What about the Sphinx? Jesus. <laughs> Give me the star chart. The Sphinx. That where are we? <laughs> hey, Space Weaver, let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master. <laughs> yes, yes, you have. Right, okay. Uh, uh, Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? Space Weaver! Okay, we should be in Danger System 5. Are we ever? Take a look at this. Ding. Excellent. <laughs> Securing subject and cargo holds. Wait for it. Don't wait forever. Though. Great work. When it comes to choosing a creature, you must trust your instincts. Ah, oh, Mr. See the creature. That was only a first miss. Good. But hurry, we're running out of time. I can't tell you which creature to save. Look into your heart, young cub. Just push the button. Dang. That's okay. Okay, that's enough. What do you mean, that's enough? I mean, enemy ships are approaching. I don't see anything. Wait a minute. Last one. Are we getting his food? To save one creature? <laughs> Just give me a second. <laughs> this is a waste of time. There is no need for this. Okay, I got it. Something's wrong. Cut it loose. We need to retreat before... Attention. Ship is under attack. What happened? Probably one of the enemy vessels I warned you about, remember? We need to get that last creature. Too late. The ship is retreating under autopilot to a safe location. And we're completely locked out of the control. Yeah. How are we going to perform any more rescues? We'll have to find another way to hack into the boom arm controls, and another way to bring the shields down at the right time. And who knows if we'll be able to navigate to the right system now that the ship's on high alert. The ship's computer must be freaking out right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> as soon as the alarm sounded, the first thing she probably did was check on you and your... Shay, Shay, are you hurt? Oh, thank goodness. Don't worry, sweetie. Um, something attacked the ship, but Mommy's taking care of it. 
<laughs> you see daddy there. <laughs> Back to Merrick to hear his plan. Uh, hang on, where where was Sing Me? Where was the uh? <clears throat> look, look there! <laughs> I saw you. Bloody saw you. Intercepted a new distress signal, this time from Prima Doom. <laughs> so, how long have you been living in here? I am a recent stowaway. I came because I sensed you are ready. We are ready to be what? I don't know. Are you really a wolf? No, I wear this disguise to blend in with your other stuffed animal friends. Weird. Bullshit. <laughs> so that's a wolf suit? What are you? Are He's you full of shit, I ladies and gentlemen. I do. A rescuer of creatures in need. Just like you. <laughs> Why do I have to be the one to choose who to rescue? A boy your age just has good instincts for the job. <laughs> The distress call was from Prima Doom. How do we get there? Same as all. Yeah, oh, what big eyes you have. <laughs> the space weaver and hope for the best. How are we going to take down the shields? I have a plan. The shields require so much power. They have a dedicated source. This fusion orb. Take this Omicron inhibitor and place it over the fusion orb. And when the time is right, We'll turn it on and turn off the fusion orb along with the ship's shields. Got it. <laughs> you thought he was going to save the real wolf. How are we going to get control of the ship's cargo boom arms? We'll need to attempt a manual override. The manual boom arm controls are located here. You can get to them through the ship's airlock here. I've hacked the airlock door so you can now open it without alerting the over mother. Right, well, okay, so... I'd better get back <clears> to <throat> the mission. Yes. Oh, I just, I just, I just saw something pop up there. What, what was that? Ah, okay, fair enough. Right, now where are we going? So we've got to put the head, headset on the fusion orb. The helpless creatures we rescued are being quarantined in there. Wish I could let them out. For their own safety, I guess. Safety? It's a pantry. I said pantry, not panty. That should be for acting. Acting like I cared about the stupid missions on this ship. Hey, the helmet comes off. Oh, oh my. My first hazard suit. Kept out Omicron radiation and kept in diaper leaks. I think that's supposed to be a space urchin, or else that's my old gum pile that I used to keep under my bed. As soon as we get full control of this ship, I'm going to burn this stuff. <laughs> I think that's the ratty old washcloth I used to drag around the spaceship. I really hope she washed that thing. She bronzed my first space shoes. Or is that the remains of my old bomb squad bot? <laughs> Imagine the scenes where he takes off the wolf's costume she returns out to be a wolf from gladiators. <laughs> I made a hexy pal out of the paper plate. Probably thought they were alive then. He's that wolf. He's right scary. I wonder what's in those creepy jars. My old teeth? Hair? Oh, can I use Mr. Grabby? Uh, where's Mr. Grabby? Nah, Gary doesn't like to grab things of a personal nature. <laughs> I bet he doesn't. <laughs> Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? Hey, my 
my my head. <laughs> my head is smaller. Oh uh, yeah, you just used a teleporter. Why did my head shrink? Quantum physics. Duh. Don't worry, or I'll go back to normal when you take the trip back through me. There's a way down there. Is there a way down here? No, there isn't. I thought there was a way down there, like down inside corridor or something. So you got that there. Let's try the middle door. Teleporter activated. This way to the fusion ore containment facility. Well, that's where we want to go. My head is just getting ridiculous. <laughs> oh boy, you went through two teleporters with our return trip, didn't you? You're playing with fire, kid. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Caution, entering an area of strong Omicron radiation levels. Home radiation shielding necessary to proceed. Lay it on me. Boy, at least we got a helmet. <laughs> hey, where's my helmet? That's just great. Don't say a word. <laughs> where's my helmet? My head is almost small enough to fit in this helmet. Right, so I gotta go through three teleporters to get my helmet so small without the return journey. That's what we're saying here. <laughs> yeah. Teleporter activated. May I teleport you to the Nexus? Hang on! There you are. Do what? <laughs> Warning. Objects placed into this trash chute will be jettisoned from the ship. And the next time it happens to one of your toys, Jay, your father is not going to retrieve it for you. Huh. You crawl into something once when you're two years old and lock it forever. Ah, my first hazard suit. Kept out Omicron radiation and kept in diaper leaks. Nah, Gary doesn't like to grab trash. Now, obviously, I want to... Oh, no. Don't even drink it. What? You are banned from this rail for life, young man. <laughs> Your passengers are still in green counseling. Please leave before they see you. Can't I ride the train again? Banned for life. All right, we'll use Mr. Grabby then. Mr. Grabby. Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. <laughs> Can't I ride the train again? Right, so... So how do we get that ticket? So, ladies and gentlemen, we have... <laughs> Fake controls. What a surprise. Hey, 
Missions are canceled. You can drop the app. <laughs> I didn't attack you, yeah. <laughs> hey, maybe I can fix your back. Really? Yeah, I think I see what's wrong. Hold still. <gasps> You're welcome. <laughs> now can we run the attack mission protocol? You know, for shits and giggles now, you know. Fake controls. <laughs> what a pay. Wake up. Yeah. yeah, yes. Let's get this over with. We've had the cuddle bit. It's fine. Right, okay, so what did we get there? <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. I wonder if I could knit with this. Actually, it's a crochet hook, so you could probably crochet with it. Wow. You know a lot about yarn crafts. Wolf costumes don't make themselves. Okay, um, so if we go down, our head will, will increase again, but we need our, our head decreased even smaller. Don't you have anything else to do? Just making sure you're safe. <laughs> it's like, yeah, bugger off. Bugger off, woman. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> this is all very disturbing. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> Son, I'm not sure it's safe enough for you to leave your room. I'm tired of being a prisoner in my room. I'm sick of being a prisoner on this ship. I know, son. I know it's hard. You've given up so much. Listen, I'd like to tell you a story. A story of another person your age, a young girl. She wanted to live a normal life, but she was chosen. She was honored with a special duty. Some people would call it a sacrifice, but what she didn't realize at the time was that it was a great honor. Please, I've heard the story of the Sacrifice Girl a million times. I know the ending. Sacrifice Girl is you, right? What I'm trying to tell you is that I made a hard choice. But I regret nothing because. Great story, computer. I'm sorry they programmed you with someone's sad memories, but I have to go. You know the truth deep down, son. And I know you'll appreciate my words someday. Uh huh. Brother. Right. Before we go to that one, we, there was a door back there we need to check. We've got plenty of areas to check on this. And we haven't even met the girl on the other part of this game yet. <laughs> oh, oh, this is the ice cream area. Hey guys. I suppose you want to run the Avalanche Mission Protocol. Hey, we're supposed to be on break. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. I just wanted to see what you guys were up to. Not much. Oh, what is this? It's a whipped cream gun. And it's mine. Mm. Do we really need all that whipped cream? Yeah, huh. to keep you away from that ice cream up there. Do we really need all that whipped cream? Yeah, to keep you away from that ice cream up there. Okay. <laughs> so, what's up here? Careful, that whipped cream is unstable. <laughs> okay, so I'm not supposed to go up there. Got it. Okay, so how do we get up there then? Because we're not supposed to go up there. Hmm. 
so we don't need the crochet hook. See, now this is where things start getting a bit. So, sort of, what's going on here? What do I do here? What the? What, what, how do we sort this puzzle out? Because obviously we need the fuse in orb done. We can't get into there unless we have our our head tiny. I knew it. <laughs> Teleporter activate. This way to the fusion or containment facility. Not responsible for lost items, motion sickness, or mutation. I think that's all my head can take. You'll need to make a return trip through me right away, Shay. In a minute. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Entering an area of strong Omicron radiation levels. Full radiation shielding necessary to proceed. I think this machine is just never going to give me a helmet. What a ripoff. That's alright, we got a helmet. Steady. But I don't think I can inflate this helmet to make it any bigger. Hey! My head is the perfect size for this helmet now. A little snug, but I think it will work. <laughs> I'm not sure how long I can stand the spoiled milk smell. <laughs> hey, what a size for a helmet, eh? That fusion one powers the ship's shield, which is critical because we get attacked by enemy spaceships constantly. That fusion one powers the ship's shield, which is critical. We get it. This is Merrick's defibrillator. Inhibitor. Right. And I need to put it on the confusion ball. Confusion or... Wait. Are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> uh. <laughs> right. Uh. Uh. Duh. <laughs> Easy does it. There. Fusion or inhibitor. When will we be ready? Just as soon as you get control of those boom arms and navigate this ship to Prima Doom. Check. <laughs> Look at the size of his head. Ah, trophy. <laughs> oh, game, you make me giggle already. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. <laughs> insert you're inserting your inappropriate helmets I mean well hmm. maybe I could scoop out the padding nah hey my head is the perfect size for this helmet now <laughs> teleporter <activate. laughs> may I teleport you to the next uh, here we go. I'm gonna break my helmet here. Watch. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Oh. See, Head broke my helmet. You're welcome. I hate quantum physics. Oh, it turns out that whole head tricking thing was just faulty wiring. One more trip, and that head would pop right off. You're welcome. Right, so now we've got to go outside and get the arms working. By the way, if my sniffing is annoying, let me know. Yes, my love. Is there anybody else on this ship? It's just you, me, and your father, of course. Oh, are you feeling lonely? I could make you some new friends. Computer, we need to get to Prima Doom immediately. Absolutely not. They call it Prima Doom for a reason. Why not have some fun in the smile system instead? How about 
No. Computer, were you aware that the universe was at war? And that helpless creatures are being terrorized by ruthless tyrants? Ooh, that sounds like a fun new game. I'll talk to the Yarn Pals and get that set up for the next round of missions. Would you like that? <sighs> Never mind. Computer, what's the point of all this? Son, you know how important Operation Dandelion is. Our home, Laruna, was dying. So we set sail in the Bas Nostra to travel the universe and find you a new home. Why haven't we found a new home yet? Well, the universe is a big place, and it has to be perfect for my baby. So, you've never seen a strange wolf around? Son, I can't keep track of all your yarn pals. Oh, are you saying you'd like a little wolf friend? I've never knit a wolf before, but it should be no problem. So what does Dad do during the day? Oh, your father has a lot of work to do outside, you know? Fixing the hull, scraping off space parasites... <laughs> yeah, you know, nothing worse than a broken helmet. Well, I gotta get back to taking over the ship. <laughs> oh, sweetie, you're so funny. Oh, that's way there. Oh, it's you. Don't see anything there I want to eat. We need to go here right away. Prima Doom. Negative. That system is forbidden due to likelihood of hostile activity. But it's an emergency. Sometimes is the most exciting adventure of all. <laughs> it is grab us look, you little shit. Somewhere safe. Like public planetoid, cozy cluster, or me. Somewhere in the smile system. No way. I have to go to Prima Doom right now. Lives depend on it. I'm sorry, young master, but my programming will deny it. <laughs> All right, let's go Puppy Planetoid then. All right, let's try Puppy Planetoid. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and warp drive. I mean, to be fair, that does sound like a good planet, doesn't it? This game reminds me of one of them really weird dreams you have after eating too much cheese before bed. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Gonna be where breakfast is. Look, there's Dad. Look. <laughs> Don't you have anything else to do? Just making sure you're safe. Computer you bugger off. Not going back in there if I can help it. She'd leave something this dangerous lying around. What's that? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> so what did we get there, eh? You don't talk too, do you? Not unless I have something to say. Please ignore him, sir. Bad attitude. <laughs> right, so we have a fork and knife. We have a fork and spoon and fork in L. Hey, why won't this open? Oh, honey, you can't come in here. I'm working on a surprise for you. What is it? Nice try. Ooh. Hey, why won't this open? Oh, honey, you can't come in here. I'm working on a surprise for you. What is it? Nice try. Do you have four candles? Yes. Yes, we do. Now, 
now. She says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. Either way, it's dead now. I took away its food source. I do hate that humidifier, but not enough to wreck my night. Hello, hello Flossie. I'm doing a little better. Not fully yet, though. I'm saving my cream for a matter of life and death. I beg your pardon? <laughs> There's nothing in there for me to fish out. Ah, my first hazard suit. Right. Kept out Omicron radiation and kept in diaper leaks. Yeah, a little bit still better. I'm getting there. It's a tank of compressed air. Come on, Grab and Gary. Be more fun. You can do it. Can't you do anything except grab stuff? Oh. <sighs> yeah, we had a squirrel on our window ledge this morning. That was quite cool. Can't sleep. On a mission. A squirrel came to say hello. Right, so. How do we get outside into the art for the arm then? Wait, young pup. It is not time to deploy the rescue system yet. Hey, you like puppies, right? You know, Mary. Right, okay. I've installed the fusion orb inhibitor. Great. Now when we push this button, the ship's shields will come down. But we won't do that until after we get control of those boom arms and navigate to Prima Doom. But how do I get the boom arms? How are we going to get control of the ship's cargo boom arms? We'll need to attempt a manual override. The manual boom arm controls are located here. You can get to them through the ship's airlock here. I've hacked the airlock door so you can now open it without alerting the over mother. The Space Weaver won't make a nav scar for Prima Doom. Hmm. How are your knitting skills? I'd better get back to the mission. Yes. Our window of opportunity won't last forever. Right, okay, so we have to find where the door is. So we can get out that he's unlocked. <laughs> well, it's around about here at that same here as well, so that's not bad. The helpless creatures we rescued are being quarantined in there. Wish I could let them out. But it's for their own safety, I guess. Right, where uh, where is the airlock gone? And uh, where where could it be? Teleporter. May I teleport you to the Nexus? Oh, this is the best part of my day. Because that's why we need to go next. Teleporter, activate. To the starboard passageway, sir. I think this might be where it is. I mean, this handy room here that I didn't check. Maybe. <laughs> oh yeah, the one if it airlock ahead. Yeah, that's a warning. Airlock ahead. Safety suit and air tether required for extra vehicular exploration. But don't worry, I'll put it on you, sweetie pie. Ugh. Right. Uh... Ah. This tiny suit wouldn't be much use there. <laughs> or anywhere. It doesn't look out of place if, if anybody had a balloon fetish. Up. But 
this time take it easy. Yeah, so take it easy, you bugger. <laughs> Open up. But this time take it easy. Right, what do we put in there then? You don't talk too, do you? Not unless I have something to say. Please ignore him, sir. Bloody hell, yeah, that's a ni much nicer. That could create a puncture wound and possibly leak acid blood onto the ship. I'm saving my cream for a matter of life and death. That could create a puncture wound and possibly leak acid blood onto the ship. This tiny suit wouldn't be much use there. Or anywhere. It seems to be doing fine out here in space without air. Giving back presents is rude. I don't think eating it should be my first step. Space! Come on. I there's something silly here. I guess I'll just cut this <coughs> air hose. What could possibly go wrong? Oh boy. No, air. Suffocate him. In space. Totally worth it. <laughs> Dang it. I don't want to use up all the air now. I might need it later. So I get rid of the tether, right? Now, if it gives me enough, I can put the use that for this. Well, yeah, I thought I'd have enough time, you know, hold my breath for it to put the the actual air part on here, you know. Let's see if this fits. Come on. That's the stuff. Right now. Here we go! <laughs> oh no! Gotta get further out. Come on, legs! Ah. I wish I had some sort of propulsion. Propulsion? <laughs> Wait, do I use the whipped cream bit? I am so smart. I am so smart. <laughs> I'm free in space. Okay. Now what? <laughs> Aha. <laughs> Those must be the manual controls for the boom arms. Those must be the manual controls for the boom arms. I can tell Gary wants to get in there, but his grabbing claws are too thick to pry open that hatch. Let me 
me try to... Oh, hey! Uh oh No, no not the face! Or the neck! Or the body! I'm free! Free to create the space itself! Phew! That's a relief for a lot of reasons. Well, so far, so far I haven't really come a cropper in terms of I think what we're doing. I think Gary wants to grab that. Okay, grabbing Gary. It's oh, look at his turn. face. Don't be scared. Well, go ahead. <laughs> Grab the controls. Oh, yeah, I have the button. Engage. Good boy. <laughs> look at his oh, face. Hey, 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 hey. That's enough, Gary. We don't want to attract attention just yet. You sit tight here, and I'll push the button again when it's go time, okay? <laughs> what a happy boy. Such a happy boy. <laughs> now, if I can get to the next part of the story, where the lady is, then that'll be a good start to this stream. Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? You can teleport me any way you like. Hang on! Now, I believe it's over here. Uh, Give the space weaver a star chart. He'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf. But he won't. I'll bet I could use this crochet hook to make alterations in the nav scarf. Next time the space weaver is doing his countdown, I should try it. Ah. Where shall we go today, Watson? Maybe the smile system would be better. Prepare for decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and warp drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Big and has already stitched there. I don't think anyone would mind this. Deploying nav scarf in five. already stitched there. I can't take it out. Four. Three. There's already a stitch there. Two. I can't take it out. One. Oh my. I... I seem to have made an error in my meeting. Not sure how that happened, sir. Shall I try again? This is the star chart for Prima Dune. Right, let's have a look. I mean, obviously, we want the star chart to look the same, don't we? So, uh, 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 uh. some stars on this star chart do seem to correspond to the nav scarf pattern. Where shall we go today, Watts Commander? Maybe the smile says. Now, remember where that was. <laughs> Looks like the space weavers encoded the star chart. Some stars, stars in this star chart do seem to correspond to the NASCAR pattern. Shows like one there. And one there. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh my. I seem 
seem to have made an error in my listing. Not sure how that happened, sir. Shall I try again? This is the right. star chart for Queen <coughs> Doom. Let's have a look. Now, obviously, the pattern's got to be do, do something, right? So if I can take the two at the bottom out, and take one at the top out, the top middle, that should be it. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Fine. Cozy quest. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and warp drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Operation here. I'm sure what he meant here was this. Deploying nav start in five. Four. Keep an eye on that one for us. Because that is going to be the puzzle for next. Not next time, for next. The Space Weaver won't make a nav scarf for Prima Doom. Hmm. How are your knitting skills? I'd better get back to the mission. Oh, yeah. that'll be my parcel I'll back in a second. Opportunity oh. won't last forever. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. So, how are we going to get around this? Try Puppy Island. Thank you very much, Kebabs. <coughs> you haven't missed anything. I've just moved it, moved the extra screen bit to Puppy Island here. So. <laughs> Right, so it can't be this one because that middle one has to go. Oh my. I I seem to have made an error in my knitting. Not where shall we go today, wise commander? This I think it's gonna be oh, Thingme. Cozy cluster it is. I think it's this. So I think it's that, 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 and that. Let's just make one small change here. It's a pain in the knife, yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
seem to have made an error in my meeting. It does look. Sure. It's a star chart for Prima so. Doom. Shall I try again? Right, so, okay. So top middle, no. Bottom, bottom right, and bottom middle, no. But we've got to have a three in there. So we've got to find out where that would be, how we could sort that. Where shall we go today, what? All right, let's try Puppy Planetoid. No, it's not. That's the wrong one. You are a raider. Legendary. Hello, Malula. How you doing? I hope you're well. How is Virtual Lunch Club? Hi. Hello. Hello, Johnny Quiz. Hi. Oh, Dassey. Welcome in. My name is our tea maker. And I am part of the Game One Player Stuff podcast. And I'm playing Broken Age, and I'm a little stuck here. Makes you delight today, Lily Savage did good. Oh. In what way did they do good? But yeah, so basically, here's the uh, here's the situation. Thank you, Michael, for uh, shouting Malula out. If you're not already following Malula, please go give her a follow. She is wonderful. She is absolutely wonderful. But yeah, so situation is this, right? This thing here is plotting a course to systems that we're on. I'm liking it so far. Um, this is the first proper puzzle I've I've actually got into and stuck at. So I'm kind of like, well, how do I do this? Because I see the chart we have here. We need to make those connect, all those connect up. Now, one of the charts we have. It sounds about right to be fair. Some of this is a bit iffy, but one of the charts doesn't have anything at the bottom right, but it does have elsewhere, and I can't seem to get rid of it that I'm aware of anyway. I don't want to activate Gary until it's time for the mission. Oh, that's the. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. But yeah, so I'm kind of wondering. Where do we go? What do we do here? Fine. Cozy cluster it is. Because I think cozy cluster is the is the best one. Initializing warp and warp drive. Intake calibers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spin the last rotational velocity. Well, I think there. there, there. I, don't think anyone would mind this. I think that's it. Four. Three. Ah, I did it! I did it! Got it! Oh dear. Wow. He took that really hard. <laughs> really did? Don't worry, Space Weaver. As soon as I rescue those helpless creatures, we'll get out of Prima Doom. And a trophy as well. Woo! Right, let's go save some more creatures for this wolf thing then. Let's do this quickly. Affirmative. The controls are yours. You may now use the fusion orb inhibitor button to inhibit the fusion orb and shut down the ship's shield. And your remote control for that children's toy, grabbing <laughs> yes. You may now press it to activate grabbing Gary. And thereby the ship's boom. But grabbing Gary looks so happy. Careful. 
wait for it. Oh, I missed. Right. Ah, this one's gonna be a pain. Keep trying. See the creep. There we go. Well done. Now the next one. Don't wait forever, though. Oh, that was so close. Rats. Keep But yeah, I That's seem okay. to have caught cold. That London okay. waiting in St Pancras for about three out. hours at least before I decided no. to try and go different and destination home. Don't make the same Seems to have not have helped time, it. Boy. You said you trusted my instincts, right? I, no worries, Malula. Thank you so what much. Hope you have a good day at work, and it's a it's a hump day, not a wanky Wednesday. We've saved more than enough. It's just one creature. There is no need for this. There is need for this. It's not worth the risk, boy. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> you, you having a hump wank? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I have no idea. Evasive maneuvers. Attention, ship is under attack. Bye. See you later. Thank you so much for the raid. Forget about the creature. We need to move you to a safe location. Come with me. Yeah. Mary! Run, Shay! Get somewhere safe! Attention! Critical breach in outer hall. I can fix this. No! Shay! There you are. Something's happened to the ship, but don't worry. Your father's gone out to fix it. Shay, where are you going? Of course it's safe. Oh, what is this we found? But yeah, thank you everyone who has joined us from Melilla stream. It's very kind of you to be here. Now I'm a variety streamer normally, but this is the first time I've played this. And normally I would be on on a Wednesday, but because I couldn't play this last night, because I'm feeling rougher than I am now, I thought I'd come on this afternoon and play it for a bit. Oh no! Oh no, Squirmy. Why you do that, Squirmy? Hey, why why you do that? No. Aha! Hello. It's time to face the cupcakes. You have to face cupcakes? Where? Can we have some? I think chat would love some too. Valoria descended her teen. Ah, sugar bunton, where the sweetness is baked right in. Ah, sugar bunton, where the sweetness is baked right in. Look ahead of you, that's where she is. There you are. <coughs> I was getting worried. Worried that I chickened out? No! I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right! Wait, I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm going to beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on! <laughs> she runs off. Yeah, there you go. Sugar Bunton, where the sweetness is baked right in. No time to go to town now. Get in the house. Get him Ah, Sugar Bunton, where the sweetness is baked right in. No time to go to town now. Get in the house. Uh, no, it's okay. Shut up, you guys. He's coming. 
<laughs> they do, don't they? Hello? Hello? Surprise! <laughs> well... Yay! There's my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother's trying to say. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? <laughs> Floaty one's going to come in, isn't it? that cake until I find the ceremonial <laughs> Know where Mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now. All right. Hey, don't go get dressed yet. I don't want you getting cake on your good outfit. Oh, a little frosting never hurt a maiden's feast gown. Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. Lavina? What is it, girl? <laughs> yeah. Any idea where mom's knife is? We're late. If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullet, and had us out the door already. Oh. <laughs> so, all right. <laughs> Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Weren't you paying attention in Maiden training? How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey, are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell. What is Mog Chakra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything okay, that you that becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me! <laughs> Where do creatures like Mog Chakra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. I want to go beyond the Plague Dam someday. It's forbidden! But maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chakra's stomach. Wait, what? <laughs> How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years. And then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. <laughs> Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. What, be? So in other words, beat me. Steady. <laughs> Steady. Mog attacks other towns? Of course. Maryloth just had their maiden's feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. They're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay. I think I know all I need to know about the maiden's feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. So, why don't we just fight Mog Chakra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. If you destroy the feast, Mog Chakra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. <laughs> Do you want ants? Because that's how you get ants. <laughs> My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. And bless her soul. Not all of the town elders have stayed as hip and with it as I have. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. Well, what what a shameful thing. Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head, that woman. Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna find it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> he is. Don't touch the red ones. Mom made those just for me. You're going to eat all of those? I've already had six. <laughs> that explains a lot. 
<laughs> I've already had about 500. No, She's got loaves of bread in her hand. You see this? Do you know where Mom's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help for this shame feast. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this maiden's feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl. Stand up for yourself. I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brommel. <laughs> Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. Why'd we stop being warriors? Levina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed. Pushed for a peace. So we went soft. Became a town of bakers. Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Oh, no. Yes. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. <laughs> for me? For you, yeah. For you, Grandpa. Don't mind if I do. I mean, he had the actual covering as well, but, you know. Grandpa Beastender? Yeah. I'd better go find that knife. <laughs> Where would I... It's like Beastender. Sounds like Eastender. <clears throat> Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the <laughs> Where did we find the here? knife? That's boom, my boom, girl. Boom, 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 now boom, that's boom. Beastender blood talking. Please, my loves. Don't make this any harder than it already is. <laughs> I mean, how many times have we used that before, eh? Am I right, lads? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting for it. Why do I feel like it, it's in? What is it, girl? It was in a hat. I better go look for that knife and hurry. If we're late, we won't be selected. So, right, okay. Can we go up by the window? Grandpa Beastender? No. Yeah. I'd better go find that knife. So you've hidden the knife. Where have you hidden the knife? Oh, where is that darn knife? I think that's supposed to look like Magchatra, my handsome date to the prom. I could cover it up, but I'll have to face him sooner or later. Okay, what? why do I... Why do I need a towel for? The only thing she wants is that knife. I mean, Grandpa's got it, hasn't he? I think he's sitting on it. Why not? You eat the one you've got before you grab another. Mom, it's her special day. <laughs> Let her have all the cupcakes she wants. The stove. Oh, that's a good. Except the red one. Nothing there. I think we split it with old Gram Gramps here, the uh, the cupcake. Grandpa Beastender? Yeah. Hey Gramps, want a cupcake? Oh, no. I'd better go find that knife. For me? Split it with you? Deal. <laughs> On second thought, you can have the whole thing. <laughs> Suit yourself. Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? No, uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time? Honey, 
Why don't we just kill Mog Chopra? <laughs> here, here. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. Yeah. <clears throat> Majestic to behold. Awe inspiring. Powerful. Mysterious. But Mog Chopra is more than that. Merciful and generous, Mog Chopra keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Please come, Mog Chopra, and make your selections. Welcome to the Maiden's Feast. Show him what you're made of, Bella. I know he'll pick you. This can't be right. No, it's not right. No one thinks I should be in the center. Ha! <laughs> I make myself the center of any slime. Center of mass, maybe. No more ugliness, girls. Mob Chopra responds to beauty above all. That was a towel. <laughs> you over here. Oh, I cut myself out of the dress. <laughs> I did cut myself out of this dress. But without that bird, I've got no ride out of here. It's hard to tell where the dress ends and the cape. I could cut myself out of this dress. But without that bird, I don't need to dry off. No time to sweat. But I need to get the birds. And then cut myself out. Come on, Birdie. Come on, Birdie. Where are you, Birdie? Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, buzzards! I will pluck you alive if you come near my food again! Need a towel? Uh, <laughs> I always open the bottle carefully, <laughs> so, no. Drying that won't help. Drying that won't help. Okay, so we need a knife or something. Need a utensil to eat that? No thanks. I feel silverware detracts from the hand feel of the food. We use we use that knife on a cake, don't we? When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. Quick, take this knife. Winning! I don't think I can hit her from here. I'm too skinny. Need a knife for self defense? Now, why would I need defense against. I mean, no, we could, we could knife the bird. Glory. I don't want to stab that bird. No. Right, so we need. It's hard to tell where the dress ends. I could cut. It's hard to tell where the dress ends and the cakes. I could cut myself out of this dress. But without that bird. To dry off, no time to sweat. Cut the towel. Ooh. Shredding my mom's dish towel isn't going to help. It's nice to be armed, but I wish this were more monster sized. Shredding my mom's dish towel isn't going to help. <laughs> Yoo hoo! Over here! Hmm, not working. So, what do I do? Do I drop the towel in the, in the water? I don't need to dry off. No time to sweat. That's the only thing I have. Drying that won't help. Because I can't go back to birdie need man. Need a knife for self-defense? Now why would I need defense against ultimate glory? So we can't stab the bird. We can cut the dress, but we need to get the dress, you know. Do we cut the dress from the bird's back? I 
could cut myself out of this dress, but without that bird. He said the town on fire went to candles. Ooh. That is a very good need a towel? That is a very good fair question. Drying that won't help. Drying that won't help. Uh no. Drying that won't help. Need a towel? No. Over here. So that's what the towel does anyway, just it just goes Oops. One of my mom's special need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat no. daintily in finishing. So what do I do? Ah right, okay. <laughs> What do you say we break <coughs> out of here? Let's see what we can do here. Quick, so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mog Chakra hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm. Sounds good, but not half as satisfying as this drumstick. Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat dinner. Never mind. Just wanted to right, okay, dinner. so we need to trade her something. For the drumstick to attack the bird. Hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate. Regardless. I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No, I give my life. No, me. Sheesh. So not her then. <laughs> hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chakra with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. I hear him. Look, there he is. Well, shit. <laughs> no, he's so majestic. Here I am, merciful King Mog Chakra, over here. No, this way, Great One. I am the one you've come so far to find. Yeah. <laughs> Where the dress ends and the cake starts. I could cut myself out of this. Hey, Bluebird, I'd never be able to cut through that thick hide. Even those eyes look armor plated. If those are even eyes. Um, listen. One of my mom's special. Hey, need a towel? I think you got a little maiden on your cheek there. No? I just want you to know that it's a great honor to be a. Uh, but I think maybe we should. I mean, hey, can I have a drink of that water? Hmm. Trade you for that sweet corset you've got on. You never can be too thin. This horrible thing? You got a deal. Oh, what a relief. I feel so much. Oh, I'm sorry. The 
this thing's just too big for me. Stay back. Oh, that poor girl. Oh, no! That should have been me! Right, okay, so we have now corset. <laughs> Why did you want this corset? I thought you were into that kind of thing. Please, that thing is so huge, it's like trying to put handcuffs on a straw. Seems small to me. <laughs> oh, it's not over. Well, it's come here, little birdie. I have a treat for you. <laughs> Look at him just staring at us going, what? Well, Come, buddy. Come, buddy. Where are you, buddy? I think Mog Chakra is really more of a let it all hang out kind of guy. I don't know. Hey, Bluebird, can I get a lift out of here? I could cut myself out of this dress, but without that bird, I've got no ride out of here. I think Mog Chakra is really more of a let it all hang out kind of guy. Why don't you come over? Hey, over here, you big dummy. I think Mog Chakra is really more of a let it all hang out kind of guy. How about the slimming corset? Why would I want to hide my best asset from Mog Chakra? He'll be looking for a full size meal after his long trip. Yeah, I've already tried that. Need a towel? Nope. They taught us. Yoo-hoo! Over here! Hmm. Not working. Can I borrow that bottle one more time? Keep it! Thanks! Yeah. I don't need it where I'm going! <coughs> God damn it. <laughs> Stop eating people, you bastard. Wanna trade something for a bite of How about something bubbly to wash it down? Well thanks. Don't mind if I Look at me! I'm soaked! Oh god. Looking? Quick! Quick! Help me put myself back together! Okay, uh, towel. I've got a towel here if you throw me that drumstick. You have a towel? Why didn't you say so? Because now we use that the drumstick to track the bird. Oh, <laughs> how long have you been standing there? Are you part vulture or something? Right, now how cut myself you think out. about food at a time like this? I could cut myself out here, Birdie. Oh, come on. So close. <laughs> That's it. Flap those big blue wings. I don't want to stab that bird. Hey, how about we split this cupcake? You can have the bottom half. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, get off my foot, you bastard. <laughs> ha, we did it. <laughs> and we got another trophy. a bit wasn't it <laughs> thank you dude thank you <laughs> oh look at their faces they're as cute as the uh the squirrel that we saw this morning at a window Oh, 
crap. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, look! Jesse brought back a girl with him. Ooh, a new recruit. Time for your old man to become Mr. Smooth. Well, as it's coming up to two hours, I think that's a great place to stop, and we can continue this next Tuesday afternoon. Because we have nowhere else to do. No worries. Thank you guys for being here. So I'm sorry if my voice is a bit iffy and made you go, oh, what are you, what are you doing? What are you like? But hopefully I'll be back tomorrow for some uh, more blue fire. Um, yeah, we got temple we're in. One of the four temples to get through, apparently. So uh, I'm gonna, just going to head off and go rest. So there won't be a raid today. But I'll do some raiding tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Have yourselves a wonderful day. I'll see you for now. And goodbye. Thank you, Flossie. Hope so.